I heard something behind me and there's just this wild raccoon. Oh, what happened to your eyes? She got a little bit closer to me and a little bit closer and I could get a better look at her. She just looked rough overall. This is the eye that's missing right there. She only has one eye. She will only let me touch her when she wants grapes. She could not find food on her own uh, because of her poor eyesight. She kept on coming back to my back porch asking for food over and over again. I also noticed that she was nursing. She wasn't gonna make it on her own if I had not fed her. That's it, no more. Eat your bread next. You can see how she struggles. Okay, bye mama, have a good dinner. She's looking for water. Two weeks later, the mom brought me the babies. Take it, baby. It's okay. I'm gonna put it right here. Oh my God, I'm such a proud grandma. The bond really came when her babies were brought down from the tree. I got to see them and they were just the cutest things ever. Never seen her on top of my house. Oh my God. She's not really supposed to come in. <laughs> what are you doing up here? I always know to be cautious around wild raccoons, but I'm just gonna do whatever I can. I felt so bad for her. Oh, how? How? What? They joined us on the porch. Every single day, it's the best thing to look forward to. It's just really gotten to a point where I'm so excited to come home and I get to hang out with them on the porch. Her daughter, who we now call Zoe, she is totally comfortable with me because I've known her for such a young age. Hi, come here. Hello. Can you hold my hand? Hold my hand, thank you. <laughs> she hangs out in my lap. I welcome her on my porch for as long as she wants. Me too. Zoe had a baby. <laughs> Show me your baby. Can I see your baby? They hang out with us and eat with us and everything. Look at your baby. They're so cute. They're so fat and fluffy now. That's the younger sister and that's the older brother. And right there's mom. A year and a half later, I'm so glad that mom is still here. She was in a pretty bad shape when I first met her, but a year and a half later, she's still around and she's doing great. 